The purpose of the planning phase of the project lifecycle is to put plans in motion so that you can execute or implement the project properly. Without clear and thorough planning, you run the risk of having insufficient resources, bad time management and overspending on your project. You are not yet ready to proceed to the next phase of the project management life cycle until these plans are in place. Key questions you need to address include how do you define the scope of the project? What planning needs to be done? What resources do I need? When does it need to be done by? And how much will it cost? In order to achieve some robustness in dealing with these questions, we would need to gather more information around the project objectives, what needs to be delivered, and how you might go about doing those things. Let's use our canvas to develop our thinking. So where do we go from here? A good starting point is to recap the three main areas that are in the planning phase of the life cycle, which are scoping, scheduling, and costing. Scoping looks at the requirements and activities that need to be completed to meet the project objectives. This is an overview of what needs to be done and helps in defining the project scope. This information provides the basis to develop a work breakdown structure that carefully considers all of the activities and deliverables that need to be completed. The work breakdown structure can be organized in several different ways depending on the method that works best for you. Remember that you are accountable every step of the way, so robust plans now enable a smoother workflow later. Now think about how you might sequence these activities. Is there a specific order that will work best to complete all of the tasks? Which should go first and why? Think about the relationships between the activities and how they might work optimally in a particular order. You will also need to consider the dependencies for each activity before refining your schedule. The schedule is usually illustrated in a Gantt chart so that you may clearly see what needs to be done. The Gantt chart also provides the opportunity to consider the time frame that each activity needs to be completed in. Now that you have a schedule in place, you can determine the costing for the resources required to complete each of those activities. You will need to identify human resources, material, equipment, and how much time is required to deploy them to complete an activity. You can then begin to consider your financial constraints and how you will arrange the budget to pay for the resources to complete the project. Planning is usually the longest part of the project life cycle, and for good reason. Getting the planning right from the start encourages you to do sufficient research to look into the future so that you can time manage all of the resources and activities required to execute the project.